Oh lord, he coming. Yeah, I think the knife is going to be better than the torch here, just because if I can build up bleed, I think ultimately that would be a better, some more damage per second. What I love about the quick stop is like mixing it with rolls. Cause one, one thing I never liked about the rolling is that like spamming it looks a little silly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you don't really notice it when you're playing, I guess, but I've already talked about how much I love like quick step from Bloodborne. So, uh, but mixing the quick step in this with rolls kind of gives you like a lot of variety in how you dodge. Plus they do have like small key differences. I think the roll is a little bit better for like getting it out faster and not necessarily being like restricted by movement so much because the quick step has a little bit of like a a curve to it that happens I guess that rolling doesn't rolling is like exactly where you want it to go there we go that's the damage I was looking for Let's hit him with one of these oh good lord the damage do I just throw another one I don't want to miss Oh, I almost did. <laughs> nice. Uh, I think. I think we'll just finish him off with one of these. Nice. Very cool. And that is why crafting is neat. <laughs> uh, oh, and also the bow, the composite bow has this cool. Uh, oh, let's. Because the cool like roll roll attack. I think actually most bows in this game do, except for like bigger ones. Um, because that was something that only the composite bow had in Dark Souls 3, so. Yeah, because this isn't even the composite bow, this is just a short bow. So, that's really neat. It's cool to finish him off like that. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, so. Oh, did we, we got a talisman, right? Yeah. First talisman. Depicting a red ancient dragon. Boosts fire damage negation. The ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric era before the Erd Tree would protect their lord as a wall of living rock. And so it is that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic of all manner uh, of protections. No reason not to equip that. It's kind of cool that he had that. Uh, I, I said he's not a, he's not a dumb beast, and I, I think that's true. Like, he had a talisman that actually protected him from his weakness. And he has like a little hut set up in here. Right, I mean, that could have been someone else's, I guess. I guess there are, like, weapons in the ground, maybe. You know, actually, looking at this, I wonder if it's not the soldiers who came in here and got killed by the beasts that were already in here, but rather the soldiers that had this all set up, and then the beasts came in and raided it and killed all of them. Huh. Yeah, small details like that all over this game, it's so cool. I love it. And it's just, again, it's really impressive just because of how huge the game is that they can still add in all these details in every single little area. No wonder this game took so long to come out. <laughs> Did we open this? Oh yeah, these are the multiplayer things. So like, if I wanted to play with someone else, I would pop one of the, uh, one of these, I think. And then their signs would show up around summoning pools. like. That's the same uh, crucifix thing that the guys screaming were on, actually. I think it's like the America symbolism. It's cool. Oh, it's daytime again. I, I love that feeling, too, like going into a cave when it's nighttime and then you come out and it's like morning. It's like, oh, I'm here. <laughs> Although that varies greatly on the area because like Lim Limgrave, it's like relieving to come out of those caves and you're like oh it's limb grave yay but then uh i don't know like caleb <laughs> yeah. sometimes i'm happy to be in the caves instead of out in the open world in caleb okay we still have lots of runes we could go back and buy some armor actually here let's scout this out it's like a a little fort so maybe we're like hey Look, a fort full of dudes, and I know the map's there, so... Let me, uh... 
let me head back, get some armor to prepare. But we actually haven't even done this yet. We can teleport. They let you teleport pretty much anywhere in this game that you've already been, so... Because there's graces everywhere. Wait. Weren't you... Well, you're back. Alright, let's, uh... Get this chain armor. And then I think those gloves looked pretty nice, so... Let me pop some of our... Souls. Or one more. Okay, let's see how this looks. The fashion has begun. Elden Bling. Alright. Well. <laughs> the attempt at fashion has begun. No, this looks fine. I'll keep this. I think it's better looking than the chain armor in the other games. Because it has, like I said, it has that, like red trim on the bottom and the gloves are nice and fat rolling is a thing in this game right i think yeah equip load yeah should be all right come at me bro i'm excited to get another weapon though because I mostly chose this class for everything that isn't the knife. <laughs> I like knives, but not really what I'm going for. Because like I said, I also want to try out guard counters. So I either need a decent shield or a weapon that can block. Because uh, that's, that's one thing about the guard counters that I think are cool. Um, they make it a little more viable to use the block button when just two-handing a weapon. Because you can, like, counter out of it a little bit. So if you block but still take a ton of stamina damage, you can, like, follow up with something pretty pretty powerful. Because the guard counters do a ton of stagger damage, too. And they're just not something I use very much at all. So. And I love the aesthetic idea of... Uh, guarding with your weapon, honestly. Shields are cool, but... How about guarding with a giant, like, berserk greatsword? Okay, I'm gonna head around because there's a grace here we want to sit at. It's kind of like the first main open area, or open field. Yeah, frame rate's not too bad. It, it chugs a little bit here and there, but I can deal. Maybe someday I'll have a nice GPU in my computer that will be able to handle streaming and playing at the same time. Are we gonna get a cutscene? Yeah, I think so. I guess we've just been here since nighttime, or until nighttime. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Damn, I love her design. I just realized we have the same color hair, almost. I've heard of the finger maidens. They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. Oh, another one. I another one telling me. <laughs> That I'm fucking maidenless. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. 
you need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd tree. <laughs> I can play the role of maiden. It comes with no sexual benefits, and you will escort me to the Erd tree, and we will we will part ways. <laughs> can we hold hands at least? Oh my god. This is like the cuck fantasy game. <laughs> then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Spectral Steed Whistle. Use it. To traverse great distances. It's a fucking horse. <laughs> you use it to ride places. Do you understand? <laughs> treat him with respect. I will treat him with respect. Thank you. I like horses. Shall I turn your runes? Now we can level up. Share them with me. Or a level up lady has appeared to us i like i do actually like that a lot the principles you oh well Wait, let me let her talk for a second because no she's done okay and we actually can't level up because we don't have any more runes because we spent them all on our armor but i like that she um makes herself known to you you know you don't like come across her like you usually do in the other games she uh she gives you the flasks in the beginning and then you make your way here, and she's like testing you. It feels like she's like, "Oh, is this person worthy of my time?" She saw us fuck up some wolves, and she's like, "Oh, that's that's hot." <laughs> so we can't level up. We don't have anything to do with flasks. Okay, nothing really to do. So she'll get up and disappear. So Melon is an interesting character because. I really like how she is introduced, and I really like her design, and I like her voice and character and stuff like that, but I don't... She doesn't appear often, to be honest. I really wish... So the way she was sitting behind, besides us there is cool. I really wish that she kind of just did that every time you rested. Or at least maybe every time you love rested and then leveled up. Um, because, honestly, she just... Without that, she just never appears. She does occasionally to like talk to you at a grace, but that's if you even notice, because half the time you don't. And it's um, it's kind of like a missed opportunity to add a lot of character to your level up, lady. <coughs> Dark Souls Three had had a lot of character to it, so Melon is kind of a step down in terms of that. Um, but it's it's pretty disappointing. Um, that said, she's cool. I still like her. <laughs> I don't know if she likes me as much, but... Uh, let's see. Spectral Steed Whistle. A delicate gold work ring can be used as a finger whistle. Sound of the whistle to summon and ride Torrent, the Spectral Steed. Upon his death, the Spectral Steed can be summoned again, but doing so drains the flask of Crimson Tears. Okay. We're gonna equip that, and... Horsey! We have a horse. Very nice. <laughs> and it can double jump. What I love about the horse controls in this game is that I feel like they really didn't give a shit about making it feel realistic. Like, it has a little bit of a turn to it, and it's like normal, but I think what they mostly wanted to do was like subvert the expectation that horse controls are always shitty. <laughs> and uh, let's, let's make a horse that doesn't control like garbage. And for the most part, Torrent controls great. I very much enjoy the double jump. Now we can invade this place. Fuck up some bitches. Damn, it's cool running in here like kicking ass, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, oh, I have a horse now. Uh, and I guess you could fight these guys on horse, but... We don't really have a very good weapon for it, admittedly. Like, every every weapon can be used on horse just fine, but the dagger has some pretty short range, so... 